Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Bashiro. So in this video I want to talk about Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising. Basically that's my review of the game. Just what's my thoughts so far and how did I feel about the game. Uh, before we kick off this video, I just want to thank Sci Games for providing me with a review copy for the game. Uh, however, I purchased my own copy on Steam. So all thoughts and my opinions are basically my own and no review copy was shared with Sci Games before publishing this video. So here you go. Uh, before we kick off this review, just a brief history. Uh, I've actually been a huge fan of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus uh, ever since the first game came out, but I feel like it came out at a very unfortunate time yeah, with the global pandemic and it had like a delay based netcode. So I feel like that game didn't really thrive the way it was meant to be. Uh, I enjoyed that version a lot and I've made a lot of content on this channel. So. For me, I was happy when I heard like there is a new version coming out with the rollback netcode and all these things. Uh, my first impression was a bit negative after playing the betas, but now that I got my hands on the full version of the game and I've been playing since day one, I'm very happy to report like this game exceeded every single of my expectations and I'm very happy that this is how we kick off 2024 in terms of fighting games. So, what makes Gramlu Fantasy vs. Rising? To be honest, a worthwhile game for you and basically worth your money and your time at the same time. Number one, uh, it's basically the appeal for both the casual and the competitive audiences. Uh, I feel like in the previous version, we were almost there, but the game, game was more geared for those like casual gamers. But for this version, I feel like with all the additions like the Brave system and the ultimate skills, uh, and the additions like the auto combos, the dash attacks, etc. I feel like they matured the systems to appeal to a more competitive crowd. And for me, I feel like this is a step in the right direction. I feel like the systems on day one are pretty mature. Balance aside, that's something we'll talk about later. So for me, I feel like whether you want to compete and you want to play this game and like grind it seriously, I feel like this is a game for you. And if you're just a person who wants to play like the game casually and have some fun, there are system mechanics here in place just to guarantee that you're gonna have fun in addition to additional game modes here. And this leads me to my second point. This game, basically this version has a variety of game modes and for me I'm very happy to report that. So in addition like to the traditional like arcade versus training mode which is excellent by the way. The training mode is amazing in this game. You have things like the ground blues which is basically like Fall guys of Grand Blue. You have a very nice assortment of online modes. You can play like an online lobby that's like fully animated and 3D and it looks nice. And in addition, like to the ranked mode and the casual mode. So there's a lot of things like you can dig your teeth into. And in this version, they're also implementing some things like from the gacha game, like where you can like draw tickets to get like weapon skins. And now we have like a battle pass that like unlocks for you new colors and those things. But Overall, when you get the base game, there's a lot of things that you can get basically by using the in-game coins. And these things feel like a, an extra if you like the game and if you want like to get more things. But what you get as a base package, it's really nice. Like a lot of things that you can unlock through playing the game. And that's for me something that I really, really appreciate. The overall love and care to the presentation here is excellent. Like everything from how the menus look, like to the characters, how they animate the voice acting, the the illustrations, you know. It's like these touches, they really... It, it's a beautiful looking game, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, and the music and how the characters animated, it feels like you're really playing like a fantasy fighting game, you know. For me, I'm in love with the presentation of this game. I know that Grand Blue has a lot of uh, like nice like presentation from the mobile game and the other games, but Arc system works, they do it differently and, and I'm very happy that even like the new characters, they put so much love and care into them and their designs, they really didn't skimp out there. And even those small animations, like when the characters like in their wound poses or, or in the special attacks or in their frames, it shows that really a lot of love and effort was put into like the design of this game overall and its overall presentation. So what also this game nails really well for me is like both the system mechanics and the character roster feels like mature and complete from day one. Uh, balance is something usually that's perfected over time. And with the like the disappearance like of the Japanese arcade thing, like where basically they release a game and 
in the Japanese arcades for like a year, a year, then after a year you get it like on console, like properly balanced and getting feedback like from Japanese players. I feel like when we are getting fighting games in this day and age, I don't think you should expect a game to be like fully balanced day one. For me, I know it feels like there are some characters that are overtuned, and honestly, they are. Uh, I'm looking at you near and seek and even Kagli history, the character I play like, and they feel like really, really, really strong. Maybe overtuned, but I feel like that's something that needs to be perfected over time. Uh, system mechanics wise, I feel like they build a strong base for this game moving forward. And all the mechanics feel like it's a good balance between risk and reward. Maybe the brave system needs to be a little bit like maybe tweaked a bit because it feels like more rewarding on offense than in defense. But otherwise, you feel like you're getting your hands like in a, in a complete game that doesn't feel like it's lacking at its current point. And what I really appreciate also is now you like you have more ways to express yourself. The previous version it felt like really very linear in the way that you do your combos and very linear in the way that you have to do your game plan. But now with like with additional mechanics, additional attacks, additional special moves, more meter management here and there, and additional resource. It feels like there's more room to, for expression and I feel like you can play the game like the way you want. And for me, this is all, always a big plus for any fighting game. Also, let's not forget about that this game actually has rollback netcode. <laughs> Thank God, finally. Uh, the rollback implementation here for me personally has been, let's say, 90% excellent. Uh, I've played this game both in the Philippines. So I get to play like with a lot of Japanese players and I get to play a lot with Southeast Asia. And I'm playing it here in the Middle East, so most of my matches are in the Middle East or in Europe. I'd say if there's something wonky about the connection, it's maybe because either me or my opponent like we're having some difficulties. But the rollback implementation itself is excellent. I've played the game on Wi-Fi, like when I'm playing it on my ROG Ally, my portable device, and it felt nice. I know that we should not play fighting games <laughs> like, you know, on, on Wi-Fi, but usually I do it in casual matches. But when I'm sweating it out in ranked, you know me, baby, I'm here on my desktop playing on my world connection. But overall, the online implementation is excellent. I've also played a bit of the, like the Grand Blues uh, mode, which is basically like, like a party game mode, you know, like <clears throat> Fall Guys. And it's really nice. You have like different avatars you can choose and there's like variety of maps and variety of game modes and it feels like a nice distraction you know from playing the what they call it like the competitive mode or the versus mode or whatever you know. for me it's really fun and now you get more experience when you play it so if you're building towers like your battle pass it's something that's worth actually playing just having fun with it the online that i touched on before also the online implementation is excellent uh, you have the online lobby i always love online lobbies because it's a way for you like to discover more players than you usually get match made with like in traditional modes like ranked or casual uh, you can have some fun you can do silly things in there there's a crane game that you can unlock like additional batches and additional colors and those things uh, for me i always like an online lobby it makes the process of finding new players and making new friends always much easier than the traditional way of going outside of the game to find players you know? i feel like also the ranking system in this game it's grindy but it gives you a goal like to work towards at the end of the day and for me i'm always having fun when i grind rank and even if i'm a bit salty but <laughs> you know overall it's something worthwhile like you know getting the master rank is not something that i feel like is so easy uh, in this game uh, at least yeah, at my current level also i've been playing this game a lot on my portable rog ally device and the performance on that device is really good so i'm playing like on the performance mode unplugged and on like medium to high settings, I don't experience any slowdowns, any like any lag due to performance. So this game has really kept my company when I'm playing, like when I'm traveling abroad or when I'm in my office and I have some free time and I just want to hop in and play a little bit. So I'm very happy and it, the game is also that very demanding if you want to play it on a portable device. And I feel like this is one of the ideal ways that you can actually play the game. Uh, if there are some things that I would like to be fixed and as the game moves forward and for me these are the issues that you usually have like as a first version is basically tweaking some of the characters uh, some characters in this current patch they feel a bit uh, crazy 
if I can say that. Uh, I'm looking at Nier, I'm looking at uh, Six. Yani, these three characters, uh, I don't know. Uh, they're not balanced, to be honest. Yani, Nier, okay, she's a new character, and uh, maybe they didn't have enough time like to test her against all the cast. But Six, he's from a different like version of the game, so... I feel like these characters are dominating currently and I don't blame people who want to play competitively <laughs> to pick them up to be honest. Yeah, they are that good but that's something to be expected like with the first version of the game. And if there is something that I also want Thai games to look at is the regional pricing of this game. I've seen how it's priced here in the Middle East and it's a bit expensive to be honest and looking at other regions like Brazil and some parts of Asia. Uh, I feel like there should be some uniformity in the pricing. It is nice that we also have a free version that I missed to mention for some reason. So they're rotating the characters every single week. So even if you're not sure if you're going to enjoy this game, at least you have a way to jump in and play the game. And they're rotating the, like they're also in a varied way each week. So you can get a taste of each character. The only mainstay that doesn't really change is Gran. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's my overall thoughts on the game. I've been addicted. I'm not going to lie. With my very limited time, I've probably put like 500 matches into the game. I know that that's not much in FGC terms, but whenever I had some free time to play fighting games, I've been really dumping it on uh, on Granblue. I've been having a blast. Uh, the learning process has been great. It's good just to jump back to the game. I've switched mains. I used to play Zoe, now I'm playing Kagluistro. I just hit the S plus rank, S5 plus. I don't know. I know it's not something fancy. But for me, this feels like an accomplishment with how little time I have. So I've been really digging my teeth into the game. And if you want to ask for my recommendation, if you are new to fighting games or you just want to get into fighting games, this is the perfect game to be honest to get into. There is so much in terms of modes, variety, characters. If you're a competitive player, it's high games. <laughs> they have money. There is a world tour. It's part of the Arc System Works tour. Uh, there is a battle, you know that there is already a season pass. The game will be supported, even the previous version with how low it was like in terms of player count. So the game stuck to it until the very end, until a new version got released. So you know that this game will be supported for a long time. We have a very healthy DLC lineup also coming. We just got uh, Lucilius. Now we're going to get Tubi from Nier Automata. So you know that they're actually putting effort into this game. So if you're a competitor and you want to take this game seriously, I feel like it is worth putting your effort into it. It's side games, it's arc system works, and the game feels competitive. So I feel like it's a game that I just want to continue playing, to be honest. It's been taking up a lot of my time, and I have been having a lot of fun just playing and just messing around and just laughing at the things that happen sometimes when I'm playing this game. Usually, the way that I can tell that I love a fighting game, if I find myself being happy and just wanting to play more even after I lose, I don't feel like my losses were unfair because maybe it's something out of my control. I feel like if I did something better, I would have won. And for me, I get this feeling out of this game. Once you adjust to the system mechanics and how things are in this game, I feel like you will start to have a lot of fun. So yeah, if you're looking to play a new fighting game in 2024, this is something that you should consider. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. You know what to do. Support your boy. Your boy. Leave a like below. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And again, I would like to thank Sai Games for providing me with a review copy. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.